Do you have a favorite hymn? People have asked me that question through the years, and how do you choose so many wonderful hymns through the years that God has used in my life to strengthen my faith, to remind me of what's true, to point me in the right direction? There are so many hymns that come to mind. But in recent years, I've found myself coming back to a hymn that is not as well known as some others. This was written in the 1800s by Charity Bancroft. The hymn is called Before the Throne of God Above. The verse I really like, the one I come back to so often is the second verse that says, when Satan tempts me to despair and tells me of the guilt within, upward I look and see him there who made an end of all my sin. Because the sinless savior died, my sinful soul is counted free. For God, the just, is satisfied to look on him and pardon me. What a great reminder that in Christ, there is no condemnation. That's what Romans 8 tells us. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And yet we experience the accusations that come from the enemy. He's known as the accuser, and he continually reminds us of the reality of indwelling sin. He continues to whisper in our ear, how can you be a Christian when those thoughts or those actions continue to show themselves in your life? Well, as the hymn writer says, when Satan tempts me to despair and tells me of the guilt within, here's what I do. I look up, I look to Jesus, the one who made an end of all my sin, the one who paid the price for my sin. Because he died, my sinful soul is counted free. For God the just is satisfied to look on him and pardon me. Of course, the hymn goes on, it says, Behold him there, the risen lamb, my perfect spotless righteousness, the great unchangeable I am, the king of glory and of grace. One with himself, I cannot die. My soul is purchased by his blood. My life is hid with Christ on high, with Christ, my savior and my God. If that's your testimony this morning, when Satan reminds you of your sin, point him to Jesus and say, he took care of it. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. That's good news. Thank you for listening to Encouragement. If you've been refreshed, don't forget to subscribe, leave a review, and share a little encouragement with someone you love. Encouragement is a podcast from Family Radio. These stories are just a taste of the stories you can hear every day. Listen at familyradio.org or find more encouragement on the Family Radio app.